Hello everyone, welcome back to my lab programming course. In this part, I'm going to start a new chapter and you might have seen the path that I'm taking you through. I try to familiarize you with different MALA functions and what we're gonna work with step by step until we're confident enough to start the advanced sections and do actual programmings. So today let's start a new chapter on complex numbers. I will start by the basics. In our textbooks, we'll learn that the complex numbers or the complex part of a number is known as i. If you type i in MATLAB and hit enter, you're given a number which has a real part with zero section and imaginary part with one. MATLAB understands totally the i number as the imaginary part. Something that might be interesting for you is that MATLAB also understands the j. I'm sure you've seen it in many textbooks and MATLAB is totally fine with that, has no problem with it. So let's do i multiplied by i. <laughs> so it's minus one. As you see, MATLAB understands the multiplication here and the same with j. With that said, we're now totally fine to deal with complex numbers because we know how to define this, the, the imaginary parts. We have already learned how to deal with logarithmic, the um, sine, cosine, radians, degrees, and stuff like that. But today we learn how to deal with the complex numbers. And this part, with, with this uh, knowledge, we're now able to deal with a much bigger sort of data and analysis and their comes a lot of functions which are designed for dealing with complex calculations and with that we're ready to learn those as well. The way that we're going to define the complex numbers, a complete complex number, is we can do 2 minus 1i. Okay, 2 minus i. It's a, it's a totally fine number. It has a 2 as real and 1 as imaginary. And also, we can do 2 multiplied by i. Okay, this is a multiplication. So, it, it adds to it. And we also can do i minus 5i. And if you pay attention, I, I did some calculations which are not normally what MATLAB does. And I explained why. Let me do it this way. If I say, let's define a variable x equals to 1, the value of x. And if I say 2x, you see that MATLAB gives me an error. And the reason is 2x is not known for MATLAB. The MATLAB is not the normal way that MATLAB interprets the data as input. So in order to do that, I have to type it like this, 2x to multiplication sign and x. If I do that, then MATLAB understands it completely. The reason being is i and uh, i is just introduced to MATLAB as a separate identity. So if I say 2i, MATLAB is totally fine with that. Minus 5i, the same thing. With that said, let's proceed to complex numbers algebra. So I can do 1 minus 4i, let me put it in parentheses to make it more clear what I'm going to do, and then plus, open parentheses, 5 minus 4i. So if I do that and hit enter, MATLAB has no problem just doing the calculation. I also can do the same thing and get the same result without putting parentheses because in this part we didn't have a minus here but if I do have a minus here and this is going to be the result let me choose a different imaginary number here like that okay so if I do that and there is a minus sign here if I do the same thing with the plus sign here of course, it's going to be different. This minus is going to be multiplied by different parts inside. But I eliminate the like minus bar and hit enter. It is also going to be different. The reason being is now this minus only multiplies to the real part and not to the imaginary part. Just by eliminating here, we have a total story. This minus is going to multiply to all parts inside the parentheses. Because in this course, I teach from the very basic stuff. I, I just, that might be a good topic to explain. With that said, we are now confident to do the algebraic operations on uh, complex numbers. So let me define a 7i. Let me put it in parentheses to make it more clear. 
and let's do plus 8 plus 7i. Okay, so if I do that, the MATLAB is totally confident calculating the result. I also can eliminate the parentheses here, and MATLAB has no problem with that. And we, we, we kind of get the same result because it, it was a just a plus sign between. But if it is a minus sign, we get this result. But if you eliminate the parentheses, the result is going to be different. The reason being is that now this multiplication, in, in, in this case, multiplication is negative sign is going to multiply to all parts inside the parentheses, but it's not the case here. It's only going to be interpreted through the real part. So the real parts are going to be summed up together and the, the complex points also the same.